why are we looking for the turbo timer? Is this for in future reference of us installing turbo timer? Well, okay, so we need to look at the turbo timer because I don't know if the wiring's right. Okay. Is it in the car? It might be. I don't know if it's under the seat or not or where it's at. I think I put it in the glove box. What the f is that doing? Was that in the glove box? It's under the seat. What? Uh, it's not in that glove box. No, no, it's check just the for one, an amp. Check the one under the chair. Okay. I already checked under the chair. Oh. That's what, whatever. Oh, that was under was there? A, there's a trash bag. There's this. Alright, it's not in that. What is there's another what? one. There's another one. What the hell is it? Did AMG? This isn't a Mercedes. No. Uh, oh, well, that's done in there. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. Okay, so what connector? Okay, so this, this connector or so this, this connector? This is the connector to run it in line. This one, it connects right adapter. here. Yeah, so this is the actual harness for the turbo this timer. Is the the, the plug and play. Any car you want and do this. Terrible. No, no, this is Mitsubishi specific. Yeah, I know. Uh, you buy this for any car you need. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This terrible shit to it at the same time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> or this. Ooh, look at that nice. T splice. Oh wow. You know this came from Jared, right? Jared! got new lights for us, just for us. Um, Probably still looks great. Actually for viewers like you, but not you. The other one next to you. Um, we're gonna install the alternator. We've got this J Racing alternator relocation kit, a Saturn alternator with a pigtail. Um, and this is the steel one because it's rusting. That's the only reason we know. Um, but we're gonna try and get this fit on here and um, then we'll probably dig into some wiring. It's, it's, a, it's time to get into the wiring. So, but more on that. For now, we're gonna work on the alternator. But Alex is just trying to get everything out. that goes in that hole on the top. Yep. It's in it. It's in it. Alright, watch, watch all your taints. Jesus Christ, can I work? <laughs> and then if you stretch it. So for some reason, this lower bracket hits the corner of the timing cover. Um, maybe it's for a 2G. Who knows? Um, we're just going to clearance this little bit right on no, the edge we're here. We're going to clearance the timing cover. We're going to clearance the timing cover right where this little bit goes. Um, for this little bit. If there was a potato, yeah. it's up in there. There's an alternator hiding in there. Watch out, it'll get you. Yeah. So the alignment is on top, Ooh. right? Once you got a line like this, that's. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's an optical illusion. It was. It was a. It you were using the wrong part of your also eye. This I, has, well, this, this is in between, so I was. This has of, one more rip. It does? It does? Yes. Yeah, it, it does. Four. Oh. That has five. You lined it up with the outer four. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't okay. know that. It's the best place to hide your alternator. Yeah. Where well, you can't back. see it. Where you can't see it. Yeah. Baby so what are we working on? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the, co the coils. <laughs> we're working on the coils. We've only been talking about it for the last So we have minutes. this set of 2G coils that we're going to use the coils, but not the bracket from yeah. coils. Oh, because oh. we have... Um, we have a 2G ECU and harness, so the coil plug matches the coils on both ends of the plugs. Yep. And then, so now we're just going to try and figure out where to mount it. We've got some room down in here, um, and we're going to try and work work it in there. It can't fit exactly where they do on the Cyclone manifold, but we'll maybe use those mounts. I don't know. We'll figure it out, right? We're going to we're gonna make it work. We're going to get to work. You know? We're going to get to work. Get to work. So he's trying to modify this. He's trying to grind off the rivet. Ribbit. The airplane's there to rescue them. Or is it a, or is it a machine? We're watching this movie. It's called Stephen King's The Machines. Also known as Transformers Zero. <laughs> the Machines. You got sparks on your NASCAR. I can at least use that much of it to remount the connector facing down. Yeah. For the harness. We could do that. All right, so we got this all cut up. We're going to leave it like that. We're going to leave it like that. That keeps um, children's hands bird, away from it. Birds. Birds. I mean, that's what I meant, birds. I like, I like to keep the birds on there. Yeah. Those are my favorite. I like, so to, now I we like to break them off and... That's all fiber right there. Mm -hmm. So now we have a rectangular bracket that we can use to start figuring out mounts and stuff for. I thought that was hexagonal. It is if you turn or it. pentagonal maybe, I don't know. One, two, three, four, fifth. kind of yeah so this is where we're at with the um with the bracket we did thing he did things with the welder we've got these switched around because our firing order we've got a 95 ecu but we have the 1g cam angle sensor which reverses the firing order because the 95 96 cam angle sensor is over here so it's yeah oh, yeah didn't know that. yep so we just switched the wires here, which does the same thing as reversing the wires. That way we can still plug them in, lined up with the... Uh, Correct. Four, one, two, and three. Because little things like that are nice. Little. With our 
magical factory. Oh, wow, that's magical. It'll line all the wires straight into these. There's no Chris and Cross. And we don't like Chris. Or Cross. Nope. I'm talking about you, Chris Beard, who doesn't watch these videos. Yeah. Or if you do, I love you. <laughs> okay, so, yep. So we're gonna test fist it. Test fist it. Test fist. Woo! It's a tight fit. I mean, I just put that in without even moving it. Where did I put my other bolt? Right there? Yeah, that one. I was hiding. I thought the coils went down in farther than they did, but they don't. To do it like how I'm doing it? No, like I thought the coil stuck down farther past. I thought so too. Because I was looking at the bare coil, but they you all could all I could almost you could flush scoot it up. in if you wanted. I don't think I need to. I'm already here. Yeah, and it's fine. Yeah. There's uh, what else are we worried about hitting? Nothing. Exactly. I mean that that all looks pretty good. There, I sucked them in some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these are just hand tight. Yeah. That looks good. That looks really good. So here's where we left the coils. Um, again, we're on the stage of the car where we're making everything fit. Then when we pull everything back out, we'll make it look all nice. And that's when we'll clean up the bracket, finish the welds, and paint it up. Um, but, yeah, so we're actually going to have to switch the coils back to how they were because the, the wire routing makes more sense this way. So it's not going to match the writing on this, but all we have to remember is that the writing is backwards and we'll be okay. Um, and we can do that, but it looks nice. This is all covered. We're able to run it behind the rail there and tuck it, and, and it looks it looks pretty good. It's not really an eyesore at all. So, yep. That is the coil mounted. All right, so we're going to start tearing into the harness. This is our 2G donor harness that we got, and we're going to do something interesting. Um, we're going to use the Vista harness, but we're going to cut off both ends and use a 2G ECU pigtail to plug into our 2G ECU and then we're going to use all of the 2G connectors for the 2G sensors going in the 6 bolt block with a 1G head. So it's it's kind of a weird thing. I made this. This is a horrible thing to do but it makes sense for what we're doing. On this side is the Vista ECU connections so we know what wires go to our 2G ones. This is the 2G ECU. The red are things we're deleting. We're not using those, but yeah. This is, this is not gonna be how you learn to make a harness. If you wanna learn how to make a harness or a better example, go watch Aaron at CSM TV over there. Um, he does a lot better of a job. We're basically, we don't wanna route new wires through the firewall under the floor into the trunk and then up under the seat like the factory one is, so. We're using the existing one, and we're gonna cut off the ends and and reuse the middle part of the wire. So, let's tear into it. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Yeah, right there. So the 2G harness is all split up. We've got some parts over there. These are all of the connectors we don't need. These are all the pigtails we're gonna use. Uh, we've got our ECU connectors here. That's not from a 2G. Knock sensor, injectors, all that good stuff. So we've got our pigtails. Now we just gotta put them on. So, not sure how we'll tackle that yet, but uh, we gotta start with having some connectors to work with. So, yep, we'll move on to that. Mm. 
Okay, so we're gonna start tearing into the harness. This is our 2G harness. Um, we're doing something a little, oh my gosh. <laughs> Swoopers. <laughs> this has been too That's horrible! Hold on. This has been too Oh my goodness. <laughs> or this. Ooh, look at that nice.